then that's not a plane. So the first plane I want to introduce is a German one. So here we have it. This is the BF109 uh, D1 or Dora 1, which is one of the earlier versions of the um, uh, Messerschmitt. It, uh, the Messerschmitt is from uh, 1937 yeah. and um, it was uh, being developed uh, quite quickly. There were a lot of uh, iterations and updates uh, throughout the, the development. And this one, uh, it did see action in the war. It was uh, the main uh, uh, German uh, Luftwaffe plane during the Spanish uh, Civil War. Okay. Uh, but uh, by the time of the uh, Second World War, um, it, uh, it was sort of obsolete. Um, it was used, uh, but mainly it was uh, retired as um, a trainer, and it was okay, used yeah. uh, as a training plane uh, throughout the entire war. It uh, looks sort of similar to the uh, one we already have, but there are some uh, key differences uh, that is worth noting. Um, you may uh, immediately see that it only has uh, two propeller blades, which is an indication that this is something, uh, it's an older design. Uh, the bottom uh, of the plane is a lot more simple. It doesn't yeah. have the air ducts. Um, it has a smaller motor. It has an uh, older style of uh, uh, canopy. Uh, subtle details like that. Um, but it does fly. It does fly. So let's get it in the air. It's uh, slightly slower than the uh, current uh, Messerschmitt. It uh, sort of the same handling, slightly worse, but uh, not too different. Um, but its uh, main difference is that uh, instead of two uh, 20 millimeter cannons uh, on the wings, this one has a single 20 millimeter cannon in the nose of the plane that uh, fires uh, out through the propeller shaft. So I'll demonstrate here. And of course, it has uh, the two uh, cowling machine guns. Yeah. So um, this is the the redeeming quality of uh, this plane is that it has this uh, center-mounted uh, cannon, which uh, does make it easier to aim with. Um, a lot of you will probably yell at the screen right now and say, "Oh, the D1 did not have the nose cannon," um, which is what Wikipedia says, and a lot of other sources uh, claim it as well. But this is actually uh, not uh, correct. Uh, uh, at least uh, from my more uh, trustworthy sources. Yeah. Um, there might be some truth to it uh, because there are anecdotes that the motor cannon was taken out of the plane because uh, it has a problem with the vibrations and especially overheating because they are mounting a gun right into the engine, engine compartment and of course it's going to overheat. Uh, so it was often removed in the field and um, uh, in uh, the later uh, Messerschmitt models, it was removed completely to make uh, room for more uh, machine gun ammunition. Yeah. Um, and of course, uh, since this was later used as a um, uh, trainer plane, uh, it wouldn't have needed the gun. So that might also be one of the sources for uh, the lack of the cannon, uh, the information that it doesn't have a cannon. But uh, curious, I've asked you this earlier, but I'm still curious. The actual gun shooting through the nose of the plane like that. Yeah. Where where is that gun actually placed? Because I'm guessing the engine is is out front. Uh, yeah, the engine is uh, out in the front uh, with the uh, it has uh, all the pistons uh, yeah. out in a V shape, and the uh, axis of the engine is uh, above the propeller shaft. Okay. The propeller shaft is then hollow, and the gun is mounted behind it. Behind it. Okay. And so like there's a yeah. uh, two set of cocks uh, around the um, hollow tube. Um, and uh, it, it, do you know how a uh, lathe works uh, in a machine? No shop? idea why. Okay. Uh, uh, works. A, a machine lathe has the same, exact same uh, setup because you need to have a bar that has to go through the. Okay. Uh, it's uh, it's actually a rather simple system, but it uh, it is fascinating nonetheless. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, in addition to uh, the one cannon and uh, the uh, machine guns, uh, it has the now very familiar one German medium bomb. There we go. There was, yeah. Which is a, a sort of a thing we're seeing on the, the pl German planes now. <laughs> so, uh, nice. 
Can we shoot up the uh, Kubelwagen you arrived in? Just because it's fun to blow something up. Everybody knows that. Now I'm out of uh, cannon shots. So that's the, the one downside is that since it only has one cannon, it uh, has less ammunition. Than the other one. Yeah. So uh, rounding off the uh, Mrs. Smith here, the key point is that it has the center cannon, making it easier to aim. Yes. And it has a single medium bomb capable of blowing stuff up. And we're in for a landing. And it can land, actually. That's great. So that was the German plane. And uh, now I'm, uh, I am supposed to talk about the American plane.